What's up, y'all? This is Nina Perez, and this is Straight Talk, No Sugar Added. And you know we are here to discuss real-life topics to grow, challenge, and transform your thinking. And you know I go around this beautiful planet of ours trying to find the best humans on it. Today, I found Tarla for you. So Tarla is the copy queen and founder of the iconic Copy Course is a published author, an online business coach, and a digital course creator. And she helps heart-centered women start their er their own purpose-filled business online and scale scale their brand with copy that converts if Nina can speak English. So Tyla, how are you? I couldn't see your last name. What is it? It's Makayev. I, I would have messed that all up, girl. Makayev. Makayev. Got it. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> Tarla, um, thank you so much for being here on Straight Talk. So I have a really great audience and my audience has been phenomenal at really supporting like the work here and the people that come on because I speak to a lot of coaches and consultants and people who are trying to uh, either they are entrepreneurs or are really thinking of shifting into that space. And so I think this is definitely your people. You're speaking to your people, Tarla. So um, before we get started with all the nitty gritties, why don't you let us know a little bit more about you? Who is Tarla? Yes, such a big question. So <laughs> who am I? Well, I am, I want to say I'm a daughter. I'm many goodness. I am a daughter, but my parents are no longer here. But that's how I think of myself as a daughter. I'm a dog mom. I'm an entrepreneur. Um, I'm a multi-passionate person. So I awesome. love all kinds of things. I think probably I can relate to the struggle of anyone who's loved many different things and they have their hands on a lot of things. And I'm just a passionate person who wants to do good in the world and who wants to make an impact on other people's lives. Life is short. I've definitely personally experienced that. So I'm all about, you know, people helping people recognize to take action now and go after their dreams. So what you do do you think that was something that was um always in you right to like help people and stuff or was that something that you kind of you know experienced life a little bit and it kind of made you uh go in that direction to become an entrepreneur was that something that you always had you always did or was that something that you um you kind of just discovered along the way Yeah um yeah it's such an interesting question so I don't know, like as a child, if that was really in me initially, but my mom was a nurse. So, you know, being a nurse, like I saw her, I witnessed her always be giving in her profession, but also to our neighbors was always helping mm -hmm. people. And my dad, I am told was always the one doing things for people too. I, I kind of think it's in my DNA, but he was always like helping people in some way without any kind of payment or anything expected in return. And so I think as I got older, it's like you realize you get to a higher level spiritually. We all do. And then we realize like it's not all about us. It's not all about what we need and what we want. It's about yeah. other people too. And I think it's also with age. Yeah, I think you're right. I think um, as you start to get older, you know, wisdom kicks in, right? Of course, because you're older. And if you really want to learn the lessons in life, you can learn a lot of beautiful things from hard times. Right. So that's really, that's really great. And, you know, I know that you are the, the, uh, the copy queen I was reading. Um, so tell me a little bit about that. Was that something you started, um, it, as your career? Were you always a copywriter? How did that, how did that come about? Yeah, actually that's a very LA story, but, um, I was an English major with a writing emphasis and a minor in theater and after school, and I did the minor in theater cause I was painfully shy as a child. But I also had an interest in acting and I wanted to throw myself on a stage to overcome the shyness. So I'm an introvert, but I literally could not have done something like this years ago ever. So that really worked. And then I said, oh, you know, what? I actually want to pursue acting when I got out of college, you know, much to the dismay of my mom when I entered college pre-med. But that's OK. Um, anyway, um, she was always supportive anyway. And so I ended up in a uh, UCLA extension soap opera acting class. And it's there that I met my future boss who worked at a marketing agency. And that's how I actually fell into copywriting. I didn't go looking for it, okay. but I had the English major background. And yeah, I spent six years in agencies, boutique agencies, and was really the primary writer for everything, almost sometimes the only writer and are often the only writer. And then after that, I went freelance and, you know, 
built a really big career off of that and it, it really grew rapidly. Oh, that's great. So, um, so did you get into the, did you ever do the acting or you never did it? I, um, I've made a few appearances. It's really mostly extra stuff, but on the bold yeah. and the beautiful, the young and the restless back oh, in the fun. day, two and oh, um, you know, some movies with some big actors and stuff, but yeah. yeah, I did a little bit, but I didn't stay in it long enough because that, uh, marketing agency basically said in the first month, they initially said, okay, we'll give you the flexibility of going on auditions. And then after a month, they were like, okay, either you're an actress or you work here. And I'm like, okay, uh, you know, and so yeah, I, I had that's good. So then did you like it though? I mean, is that why you said, okay, I work here. Was it something that you realized was a passion? You know, I wish I remembered. <laughs> I think at the time I felt like this is the safe thing to do, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Versus like trying to be this actress. Like these people are offering me a job, even though it wasn't well paying. It was my first job at an agency, like 33 grand or something a year. But, you know, I was like 21 or whatever. Yeah. And I think I thought it was safe. And I thought it is cool and it is creative, you know, mm -hmm. and it's fun. Mm -hmm. It's an agency. And I didn't have to really work hard to get in there. I don't really even remember that either. I think I, I just had an interview, but he brought me in and said, like, interview this girl. And I don't even know to this day, like why he thought like I would be great at the agency, but he was spot on because I be, I became a great copywriter. So he picked right. <laughs> right. It's kind of cool, right? Because even though you kind of fell into that, and um, that was just something that you chose at that time to be safe, you know, kind of what you're doing today isn't really safe, right? Being an entrepreneur is a tough is a tough gig, right? So you know, I think also, and you, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, I think a lot of what prepared you as well is freelancing, right? Did you, was that a little scary for you or were you like, you were ready at that point? Um, it was scary for about two weeks and then no, I actually, so a lot of entrepreneurs won't say this or admit this. It's an ego thing, but they're like, luck had no involvement in my success. It was a hundred percent me with my hard work. Yes, it is 90% the hard work, 95%, whatever we want to say. I'm a believer that there's always a little bit of element of luck because otherwise everybody, you know, who's an actor would be a celebrity if it was just based on hard work or everybody would be the top entrepreneur that you see online. So I will admit there was a stroke of good luck there um, because within, I mean, I did have warm contacts, but within two week of, weeks of leaving my job, I had my first freelance gig. I made, I was making $55,000 at the agency full time. And now I made $85,000 in my first year freelance working 10 hours a week, the following year, six figures, the following year, multiple six figures and became a seven figure brand. So it, it, it rose very quickly. So it was not really, I don't remember if you were asking about the struggle. I think you were saying like, was it hard? It wasn't super hard. Cause yeah, I was panicked for about a week or two cause I had a mortgage. But yeah. it quickly evolved. So there wasn't much room for panicking. And so I was very fortunate and also I'm a very hard worker and really great at copywriting. But I recognized that, you know, I was in the right place at the right time also. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, it, it also, you know, takes a certain uh, boldness to to go ahead and try to do it the first time anyway. It is scary. It is, um, you know, stepping away from something that you found safe, right? Because you found it safe. To then saying, you know what, I'm going to give this a shot and see what happens, right? Um, it's really great to discover that within you, isn't it? That you actually can rise to the occasion, right? So that that was pretty, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So now you've been doing this copywriting thing. This is your gig, right? But you're also coaching. So tell me how that all, how'd you, you know, do all of that? How'd that come to play? How did you do the, the copywriting and then go into coaching? Do you coach just women or men or both or? So primarily my audience, it's creative heart centered women um, mm -hmm. who want to start and grow their, their purposeful business online, like you said, and then scale their brand with copy that converts. However, um, you know, I, every now and then, of course, there are men that buy my courses or want to coach and that's totally, you know, fine. Um, so how did I get into it? That's a great question. Well, um, you know, through my life, I, I lost both of my parents and after I lost my mom, it, it you know, it was the last parent left and really, it was um, a very uh, traumatic for me. Um, and so, you know, it makes you think twice about life. I'd already known I was short from losing my dad at one. But then when I lost my mom in 2014, I have no siblings, literally I have no family, like there's nothing left. So it kind of made me say, like, I want to do something different. I, I love copywriting, but doing it full time, even freelance, even making a lot of money, was and I had started subcontracting work as well, but it was just um, 
it was very taxing mentally. It's a lot of mental work to be a copywriter. Mm -hmm. um, don't just write themselves, right? And so I was kind of burnt out at one point. I'm like, this is, I'm writing so much because I'm making all this money, but I'm also writing a lot. Yeah. So I really was always fascinated by online business. And, you know, like everyone talks about like, oh, you know, like somebody has an email list and there's a landing page, you enter your email and suddenly they're selling you stuff. And so of course that always appealed to me because I'm like, I'm a copywriter. I can write the sales pages. I can write the emails. I can write the ads. Like I already have that skill. And, you know, why don't I create products? And so it just occurred to me, it kind of was something that I thought of one day, but I didn't even start my first digital course for a while. And it was honestly intimidation because even being a copywriter, there are so many moving parts that people don't mm -hmm. understand. You don't just, you know, create a course by snapping your fingers. There's the digital course platform. There's the promotion. There's the emails. There's the ads. There's all the stuff that goes into play. Right. Um, and so I delayed a little, but that's kind of how I, I came into it. And I'm like, you know what? I want to do this online thing. And that way you can impact more people too. Because yeah. me copywriting, I was working with Hollywood studios and Fortune 500 companies. So I never felt like if I was only doing that, like I, I love that collaborative um, environment still. I, I think that it's, mm -hmm. it's awesome and sometimes I miss it. But I also think like I wanted to impact like small business owners and people who um, needed the help, you know what I mean? Versus just maybe a large corporation. So is the, um, the digital course, um, like just teaching people about copywriting, like how to copyright themselves or what is the digital course based on? Well, I, I have three digital courses. Okay. So, um, my one social star is on helping, um, people, um, basically utilize social media to build their business and also develop an email list. Um, okay. then I have a more advanced one called direct response launch. And that's just, you know, higher level thoughts to going from like female content creator to female entrepreneur in terms of the copywriting. It is specifically for women who want to learn to do their own copywriting, because honestly, um, most of these people can't afford to hire like an expensive pro like me because I have rates that are for corporations, not for small business owners. Right. And that's, that's a problem because then they seek out people who haven't been doing copywriting very long and aren't experienced. And then they pay these low rates and they're like, people say, I'm a copywriter, but you know, they're, meanwhile, they're reading their books at night and being like, well, how do I write copy? You know, they, they don't really know what they're doing and then you're, you're wasting money. So yeah. why not empower the women to learn copywriting themselves? Like I'm, I'm all for that. I'm not going to say, oh, I'm a copywriter. You can't know what I know. I'd love to teach it to you so you can utilize it. And that's the whole point of that course. Yeah. I mean, like there's 7 billion people on the, in the planet. Right. So, I mean, if you're teaching uh, people to copyright, they don't become direct competition. You're literally just helping somebody run their business. Right. And that's really smart, you know? Um, so for those who don't know, because you mentioned a few things, right? So for those who don't really know what a good or skilled copywriter is, cause you're right, Tarla, I get so many emails from people offering me to be my copyright person, my digital marketing person, my media person, my email person. I'm like, stop emailing me. There's so many. Um, so, you know, for somebody who's listening, like uh, maybe a, a coach is listening or somebody who's really trying to up their game, right? What yeah. is a good indicator for them of a good copyright person and what a good copyright person does? Yeah, um, a good copywriter, I mean, it is really probably going to be hard for them to tell initially. Sometimes you mm -hmm. don't really know until mm -hmm. they work for you. But, you know, I have 13 years of experience working for big brands and then another four or five years online, right, um, doing copywriting for all the social media type stuff. So I would say, you know, look for someone maybe with a minimum of five years of experience. And I prefer people who works in agencies, you know, because you really get trained hardcore if you're on the floor in a marketing agency or advertising agency versus a lot of people are kind of springing up and they're copywriters and they, they just learned online really quickly. So yeah. what I'm teaching in the course is not for them to be a copywriter um, where they do copywriting for other people. It's just to be their own copywriter. Yeah. And that's enough for people who are small business owner. But if you're going to hire a pro copywriter, yeah, I'd say a minimum of five years experience is probably a good place to start and maybe ask them for samples and look for, you know, what um, they can show you what they've done for other people. Look at their own writing and their own emails. If they have an email list, look at their own sales pages. I mean, that's pretty telling. Um, mm -hmm. 
look at everything. Look at their social media posts. I mean, that's not really copywriting. That's content writing. But just have a look around and, you know, and see. And, and you know, if their rates are really low, I'll say that they probably don't know what they're doing. And that's why the rates are that way. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that yeah. I mean, it's it's um interesting, right? When you are a professional like yourself, right, and then you see um people who are pass or trying to pass themselves as professionals. I think that when you are a professional and you see somebody trying to pass themselves, you kind of can flag it, right? Yeah. But so, but for people who aren't, you know, um, course creators or content creators or copywriters, they don't know. They don't know. So that's why um, sometimes they get caught up in a little bit of that, you know, hiring someone who's a copyright person, but doesn't know how they don't even know how to spell. Right. So that's that's a that's a little bit of a flag. You know, it's a little bit of a problem. But, you know, that's good. So um, when you're coaching, because I know that that they can take your courses, but are you coaching alongside with the with the courses? Is that how you're doing it? Or are you coaching people on different uh, topics and areas? Yeah, I mean, I'm actually more passionate about self-love coaching and life coaching, which may seem like I love that. Yeah, what does that have to do with business? But yeah, you you know already. You said I love that. So really, business is eighty percent mindset. So I'm more passionate mm-hmm. about giving you the self love and everything you need to clear the emotional blocks in order to have the right mindset in order to manifest. And then I give you the uh, the courses that have the business in them. So you have the tactics and strategies, but you have someone with you to help cultivate your mindset because a lot of people I've found keep trying the same tactics and strategies or even different things and they don't have results, it's because their mindset's not in the right place. But you cannot just simply change your mindset by, you know, sitting on a mountaintop and saying, um, or, you know, wish, wish willing it, like wishing it, it has to come yes. from a deeper place. And so yeah. um, that is what drove me also to, I'm a certified life coach, but also study hypnotherapy recently. And I'll be certified there too. That's because awesome really that affects so many areas of your life. You'd be surprised any emotional mm-hmm. trauma. It, it affects business too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What, um, what made you look at mindset? Was that something that you've struggled with a little bit yourself? Like it was something that you started to discover that you needed to improve on as you were um, maneuvering all of this? Actually, um, I've been very strong in mindset, but of course I'm human. There have been times where I haven't, but, um, the story actually how I manifested the seven figure brand that I was talking about earlier with the copywriting is that I would listen to affirmations in my own voice on the way to work and back. I'm a successful copywriter earning $85,000 a year. I'm a freelance copywriter. I'm earning $85,000 a year, like a repeat of all this, you know, blends of that. And Mm -hmm. that is literally how I, I took inspired action, obviously, but that's how I, I developed that career and I'm mm-hmm. all about positive brainwashing with positive mm-hmm. programming. And, um, I think coming from losing parents and all of that, and even just losing my dad, it's like me tending to think more on the negative with my mom. Um, initially when I was growing up, like, Oh, everything's bad and all this stuff and having to reprogram my own life, but I, I successfully was able to do it. And of course there have been moments where I, I have, you know, like anyone else had struggles with it, but I was so passionate about it because I just know that that has been the determining factor in my life when I have Mm -hmm. not been successful or when I have or whatever, it's always been about mindset. So that's why I'm passionate about it. Yeah, absolutely. I always say, you know, people always try to and differentiate, you know, I'm the work person or I have the work hat on. I have the, but the truth is, is you are you, you are you wherever you go. Right. So if you, if you could take care of your mindset, that's why I like that you're incorporating like the mindset, the life coaching and all that stuff um, with along with the business aspect of it, because those are, first of all, they're both needed. And secondly, when you are a business person, an entrepreneur, it is only you, babes. It is only you. <laughs> it's like you. And if you get your mind right, if you start going to, to coaching and you start getting your mind right, your mindset right, and all of that, the business also will be right. You just need to know the technicalities of the business. That's it. But if your mind is right, you can run it well. Do you agree with that? Oh, 100%. That's exactly yeah. what it is. Yeah, that's great. I'm glad you did that. I'm glad that you looked at it all and said, you know what? Yeah, I can teach you copywriting, but then let's let's go a little bit deeper. I can do. I, we can do more than that. That's awesome. That's awesome. And it's great for, um, you know, because I, I noticed that our space is getting uh, big, right? We're getting a lot of coaches. We're getting a lot of consultants. We're getting a lot of freelancers now because COVID changed everything, 
right? So it shifted everything to, for people to really look at what it is that they really want to do. And I think it's a great thing, you know? And I, I also believe that there are, are enough people in the world that all of us can be uplifting each other and helping each other as opposed to, oh, Ta Tarla's a, a coach for women. So am I. She can't be on my show. That's just like ridiculous. <laughs> like to me, it's like, I love what you do. I love that you're a copywriter. I love that you're taking life, uh, you know, you're doing life coaching. I love that you're working with people in their mindset. The hypnotherapy, I've never really got, you know, gotten uh, too much knowledge about, but I have spoken to people who have done it and they say that it, it's been transformative for them. So good for you. That's awesome. And that's just another, you know, tool in your toolbox for you to go ahead and help somebody even further. And I feel like as long as we keep working on helping someone, even if it's 1% at a time, then we're doing something good in the world, Tarla. And that's important, right? That's super that. important. Yeah. I, I love that too. I think that um, what you're doing is great. Um, I love that you have, you know, taken things that could have really hurt you and destroyed you really could have, you know, lo losing both of your parents is a, a reasonable, if you will, reason for you to be in a, a you know crummy place right because some people don't get through those things very quickly because we're all built so differently but you've decided you know what yes it hurt I'm, I've gone through it I've overcome it but now I want to help someone else yeah right and that's uh, you know it's commendable so good for you Thank good you. for you yeah that's awesome so what um what are you doing now like I know that you're doing the coaching I know you're doing the copywriting do you have anything in the works for the future well, you know, th this is pretty much it for now. I do plan at some point to come out with, but this is going to be 2023. I do plan on coming out on uh, with a course for creating a digital course as oh, well cool. as a course on coaching because not to sort of like, I wouldn't be certifying anyone. I don't have a coaching program, but just generally how to start a coaching practice. You don't need to be certified. I'm certified in two programs and now I'm currently... Uh, in Tony Robbins to become a master coach, but you don't have to start off like that. I think it's always good to do it at a later time. I agree. So yeah, I have that coming up, but you know, there, there's a lot on my, on my list of so, <laughs> things I want to do and there's only one me, but yes, that'll be <laughs> those are the ways that I really feel are the best to monetize online with courses and with coaching. Like that's the perfect combo. Yeah. yeah I think so too. And I, 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 um, I really admire the, the course creation part of it. Cause I have a course that I put out on forgiveness. I have another course on eliminating your uh, limiting beliefs. Um, but it's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. You know, recording the videos, writing the content, making sure everything's, you know, right. It takes a long time, right? It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of dedication, but it can be done. So I'm glad you're doing that. I don't know if I have, um, the uh the steam in me to keep creating courses it's 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 exhausting but you're a copywriter so this is like in your bloodstream you know that's awesome now, do you help people write their courses no i i don't i don't do that 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 is a very big undertaking but yeah. um, I have offered, I, I started veering more towards life coaching, but you were asking me about online business coaching and I do do it every now and then um, mm -hmm. if someone requests it. So, co you know, coaching, I will be offering on copywriting, but, um, you know, and then I do sometimes on social media and also on the digital, digital courses. So if someone wants to create a digital course, I can coach them through the whole process, but I wouldn't be the one creating the course. There's no, um, oh, that's for you no no yeah 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 <laughs> she's like no 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 it's a lot of work <laughs> it's a lot of work i'm, I'm telling you work. yeah it's it, when you said that that's that's no joke and if you yeah. are all about being polished and i have beautiful slides and beautiful photos and hundreds of photos in it i mean it's a massive undertaking it might be all in your brain but it takes a second to like translate that into yeah. something that's cohesive for people yeah. And I think one of the hardest things too, about having somebody write your courses is it doesn't sound like you. it's not authentically you. So that becomes a little bit of a, of a conundrum, right? When people think, oh, this is how you sound in your course. And then when I hire you, you sound like this. These are two, they don't really come together. At least that's what I've heard from people that have said, oh, I, you know, I took X's uh, course, but then they put me in with this person who's not this person, you mm -hmm. know? And I'm like, oh, that's, that kind of 
sucks. You know what I mean? But I mean, it is what it is. I think everybody has to run their business the way they feel is conducive to them. And I love what you're doing. So I know that, you know, I probably have a lot. I know that I have like 65% of the women listen to the show. And like I said, there are entrepreneurs, they're female entrepreneurs, and they, I, they're either shifting into the space that we're doing now, which is like coaching and consulting and all of that stuff. Um, or they're doing it as a side, uh, alongside their biz, their, their actual careers. So how do people get in contact with you? Like, are you still taking on, um, clients and things like that and, uh, copywriting for people? Are you still doing that? Yeah. So in terms of copywriting, um, I still do some freelance copywriting mostly for big brands, like I said. Right, right. <laughs> the cost. But of course, people can reach out to me if they want to see, you know, if it would work for them. One area, you actually mentioned this earlier. I did want to say um, there are a lot of copywriters out there who don't know how to write sales pages. I've come across it because I was interviewing people um, for to work for me actually for um, like a copywriting agency situation. And I will say that um, that is one area where I think they should pay specific attention with good. Yeah. because those are not easy to write. Um, but yeah, no, they can get in touch with me by going to my website. I'm sure you'll have it written below here because no one will mm -hmm. ever be able to find this otherwise, but it's tarlamakayev.com. And there they can check out all my course offerings. I also have a free social media mini course if they're interested, your That's social good. media debut. Just go to my website, go to the black tabs, click on free gifts, and it's right there, the first one. And it's like a 50 minute free course. Uh, we'll give them an idea of my teaching style, actually, what we're talking oh, about. Good. Of course, so they can kind of see if they like my teaching style and the info I give. And yeah. Yeah, well, you seem like a straight shooter to me. So I think it's going to be awesome to for them to to take a look at. Um, so thank you uh, very much, because I think this is going to help a lot of women, especially women who are like thinking, like, how do I do this? Because like you said, and I love that you were so like straightforward about that, you know, that you can learn to to also just copyright for your own content. Um, so you could take the courses to do that, because you're right, not everybody can afford it, especially if you're first starting off as this is your first business and you're trying to get all the, you know, ducks in a row, right? It's not, and that's not a cheap venture. It's, right. it's pricey, but it's also worth it as long as you're impacting lives. So Charla, thank you for coming on and taking the time. I know you were a little bit tired when we first started and your dog was barking in the background. My dogs were barking. It was all fun, <laughs> fun and games, but thank you for being on straight talk. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me, Nina. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for listening. Now you guys know to go onto Tarla's website. I'll make sure to link everything below so that you can make sure that you go on there, take the courses yourself. I know a lot of you are always asking questions about copywriting and all that stuff. I am not a copywriter and I, I cannot do it. I will not do it. I will not write courses, but you know what? You can take a course to help you do that. And she has other courses on there as well. And she told you about the freebies on her website. So make sure that you get on there. I'll make sure to link everything below. And as always, I found another good human on the planet. Until next time, guys.